I'm Dr. Neha Gupta, Senior Infectious Diseases Physician in Delhi NCR and I have expertise in dealing with complicated infections involving the bone and today we are going to discuss regarding the bone infections. Bone infection is known as osteomyelitis and how does it present? So a lot of times patients can present with pain in the bones which can be pain, swelling, redness in any of the bones. It can involve the uh, upper limbs or it can involve the knee joint or the ankle joint as well as sometimes the clavicle or it can involve the spine. So these are the common sites where infection of the bone can present and we divide them into two. So we have acute osteomyelitis and chronic osteomyelitis. Acute osteomyelitis is which is developing over hours and days like it is a very sudden onset and very rapid progression which is called as acute osteomyelitis and then we have chronic osteomyelitis which has got a more gradual and insidious onset and it is gradually progressive. So why is it important to know that how the bone infection or has developed like it's very important to understand the onset duration and progression of the bone pain because the etiology for both acute and chronic are different and since the etiology is different the treatment also differs so the common causes of acute osteomyelitis which is developing with severe pain there is a lot of redness swelling of the joint or of the bone uh, that is because of commonly staph aureus or staphylococcus aureus and this can be MSSA or it could be MRSA and uh, besides that we can also have acute bone infection because of sometimes typhoid and it can also be because of certain gram negative infections sometimes patients with UTI urinary tract infection can present with sudden onset severe backache involving the spine and that can be a pyogenic vertebral osteomyelitis with at times is misdiagnosed as tuberculosis so since the etiology is different and the treatment is also different it's important to make the right diagnosis of acute bone infections and uh, the clue towards diagnosis of acute bone infections is that if suppose there is an abscess or a folliculitis on the skin and uh, a lot of times if suppose there is dental caries or there is uh, some um, urine infection then there is a possibility of acute bone infections skin infections uh, can result in staphylococcal osteomyelitis where the treatment will differ based on whether it is a MSSA or a MRSA. Um, sometimes there can be patients who have uh, met with road traffic accidents where they have happened like there is um, complete uh, open fractures or there is contamination of the wound, the skin has opened up and that can also result in infection of the bone resulting in chronic osteomyelitis and a lot of times then these patients also undergo surgery there can be implant which is placed and that can result in a implant related infection if suppose the original infection is not treated appropriately so bone infections related to implant can happen acutely and if suppose they are not treated properly that can result in chronic osteomyelitis. Coming to chronic osteomyelitis which happens over a period of uh, many days or months uh, and at times it may be completely painless. So again the most common cause of chronic osteomyelitis in our country is tuberculosis. The other infections which can cause osteomyelitis uh, or bo chronic bone infection are again brucella sometimes patients fungal infections like um, cryptococcus or even histoplasmosis they can also uh, involve the bone and uh, enteric fever also can or typhoid can also present with chronic osteomyelitis 
Chronic osteomyelitis has to be differentiated from other rheumatological problems. So uh, patients with sometimes say um, multifocal osteomyelitis or with sacroalitis, there can be other causes like ankylosing spondylitis or reactive uh, arthritis which can mimic the bone infections and they have to be diagnosed and then treated appropriately. How do we make a diagnosis of acute and chronic? Again, it is based on the symptoms. Then we can do a complete blood count, which is a CBC. And there, if there is an increase in the WBC count, it will go more in favor of an acute osteomyelitis. Usually chronic osteomyelitis like tuberculosis, typhoid or brucella will have a normal WBC count. Other blood parameter like a C-reactive protein can also help. Very high CRP will go in favor of an acute bone infection, whereas a normal or a mildly elevated CRP will result in a, um, will go in favor of a chronic bone infection. Then we must do appropriate cultures like blood cultures. Positive blood cultures are more likely in acute um, osteomyelitis or acute bone infection whereas chronic osteomyelitis like TB are usually blood culture negative but some infections like brucella or typhoid can have a positive blood culture and that is why it's important to perform a blood culture depending upon the symptoms of the patient. Then comes the um, pertaining investigations pertaining to the site of infection. We must do appropriate radiology and in case there is a pus, try to take out that pus for appropriate um, investigations which includes the gram stain as well as cultures and cultures need to be sent in, uh, multiple specimens have to be taken and they should ideally be sent in blood culture bottles to increase the sensitivity and these cultures should be kept for prolonged incubation for at least 15 days because that will improve the sensitivity of isolating the uh, etiological bacteria from the bone infection and um, uh, this is how I think um, most probably we diagnose them uh, at times even sometimes molecular assays can also help in the diagnosis of the etiology based on the etiology we can different we can treat or give appropriate therapy for example if it is staphylococcus aureus bone infection which is uh, acute osteomyelitis then with, if it is a MSSA there are certain antibiotics like cloxacillin, flucloxacillin uh, or cefazolin which can be used whereas if it is a MRSA then there are other antibiotics like say vancomycin, tycoplanin, ceftarolin or even clindamycin which can be used for treating the acute uh, Staphylococcus aureus bone infections and for tuberculosis again it's one of the commonly uh, misdiagnosed uh, bone infection appropriate anti-TB drugs can be given and this will actually help in um, complete cure of those uh, um, untreated complete cure of the TB infection and if, if it is brucella typhoid or even some other fungal infection or some other etiology then exact treatment will uh, needs to be given for the cure of the bone infection thank you so much